Hey you, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about five dresses that you need if you have a short torso. I have a short torso and this is why we should be friends so make sure to subscribe. And honestly, I'm a believer in making your style whatever you want no matter what body type you have. But as someone with a short torso, I know some pieces make me more uncomfortable than others. My goal with this is just to show you what is comfortable, what is flattering, and what you're sure to love. Okay, the first dress I really recommend to everyone is a wrap dress. So the reason a wrap dress is so flattering on anyone is because it just creates that beautiful hourglass shape that we all I guess sort of strive to have. Now one of the main problems short torso girls have with dresses is when the dress is supposed to specifically hug your hips in a certain way and the dress is making an assumption how far away your waist is from your hips. But a well-fitting wrap dress will extend your waist where your waist is and then slowly float away so that we don't know where your hips are exactly. Sometimes I'll take a wrap dress into a tailor to actually bring up the shoulders. That way the waist hits right where I need it to at my waist and it's not slumping over or making my chest looks slouchy. All right, the next dress you need in your wardrobe is one with ruched sides. Now I know this isn't really a type of dress, it's more of a detail on a dress. As you'll see, I have a couple very different dresses with ruched sides. It molds to your body shape, so no matter where your waist hits, it's gonna like look that it was supposed to happen that way. It took me a long time to realize a lot of the problems I had with clothes were not because of anything to do with my weight, but actually had to do with my short torso. That's a whole nother video and it will be coming soon, so make sure to subscribe. But what I love about dresses with ruched sides and ruching that just come all along the bodice. It doesn't matter where your waist falls. It doesn't matter if your hips are too high or low. It's just part of the dress. Here it is, and the ruching covers any sort of weird hip action that you have because of your short waist. My waist kind of comes in nicely, and then it kind of makes a sharp turn out here because it's so short. So it very nicely camouflages a lot of that. Now, as general as that last one is, this one is oddly specific, and that is a t-shirt or shift dress that's also a mini dress. There isn't really a whole lot to show you with this option, is there? Again, the styling through the waist and hip are the same, so it doesn't really matter where your waist and hip are. But the reason I specify mini dress, and I'm somewhat laughing because this is going to be a little difficult to explain, but I'm going to do it as simply as I possibly can. A t-shirt or a shift dress were created for a proportional person. The designer had in mind where the waist would be in theory and where the hips would be in theory. So if you have a short torso and long legs, then your torso is going to end higher up than the designer intended. So you're gonna be able to pull off a mini dress better than a long torsoed person. And then I personally think having a shorter dress is better because you have these beautiful long legs, like let's show them off. So this next one is more of a detail and less of a specific dress, but I think this detail really helps if you have a short torso, and that is a halter dress halter top on a dress, which you just call a halter dress. You know, you can find halter dresses with ruched sides, you can find halter t-shirt dresses, there's all kinds of stuff you can find, but halters in particular look so good if you have a short torso. Now there's two reasons for that. The first one is that it just draws the eye up. I think a lot of the time there's so many, well, I'm a perfect example of it. I am wearing a v-neck sweater right now, and what I feel like v-necks can sometimes do if you're not careful is if you pair a v-neck with a high waist jean, like I'm also doing right now, you can sometimes throw off your proportions because what it's doing as you look at me is it's drawing the eye up and down from where you can see skin and then you see a color block here and then you would start to see more blue color blocking down there. If this sweater was in a more contrasting color, you'd notice it more because of my skin tone, but we don't need to go into a whole thing about color theory right now. What a halter dress does is it draws the eye up and it just gives the impression that your torso comes up higher than maybe it does, but it's also going to equal out your proportions a little bit because your torso is going to appear longer. Next, I wanna talk about maxi dresses with accentuated waist at your natural waist. Now this could be a tie waist, this could be like belted, but the most important part here is to accentuate the waist. I feel like I say that so much in these videos, but you're going to be happier and more comfortable in a dress that accentuates the smallest part of you. Now I understand we have to be really cognizant of what happens to the dress after it hits your waist. The biggest problem with dressing short torsos is what happens actually beneath the short torso. Because again, proportional bodies are supposed to have a more gradual change into your hips. Our bodies are very like, erk, erk. 
And the reason I specifically say maxi dresses with accentuated waists is because maxi dresses tend to be flowy. And so they're gonna flow away from the body, maybe even more so, because maxi dresses are like that breezy, flowy, summery staple. But it does skim away from my hips so that you don't always know where my hips are, because they're much higher than they sometimes look. <laughs> if you like any of the dresses I showed you in this video or wanna find ones that are similar, check out the description box below where I have links. I do make a commission off those links. You are not pressured to use them, however they do support this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I have so many more short torso videos coming in the near and distant future. But the only way I know you like them is if you let me know. So thank you so much again and I'll see you soon in one of these two videos. Bye.